Okay, so I'm recording a flight, or was going to record a flight from Sarnen in Switzerland. Uh, if we go and look at the map to see where it is, if we zoom out slightly, it's just north of Sion. So, uh, yeah, it's just east of um, Geneva. So, if we zoom in slightly, you can see from the contour lines, it's pretty rugged around here. There's huge mountains in all directions. So, it makes a very interesting place to fly in and out of. Now, this is the stock scenery in Flight Sim 2020. So, I can do a pretty good comparison between this and um, the Orbex scenery in Prepare 3D. So obviously this is auto-generated based on satellite information. It's not photogrammetry. And as soon as you see what the real buildings look like, you realize, yeah, this is nothing like the real place. Anyway, I thought it might be interesting to do a flight here. So what we're going to do, if that van doesn't drive into my aeroplane, is pull out onto the runway and go and have a look. But obviously we're not going to see a thing or be able to fly with the weather it is at the moment. So this is using live weather. So let's go and change it. So if we just said it was snowing, which it is, but it's also sleet and fog at the moment. If we just have some snow, then at least we can see a little bit of the scenery. Okay, so let's go and get inside the aeroplane. And what do we need to do to start up a Cessna? Let's get rid of the yoke out of the way. So master switch is on. Um... Oh, I've forgotten most, nearly everything I knew about this. Pit hot heat on, nav lights on, strobe lights on. Uh, beacon on, landing, don't need those. So, oh, maybe we will taxi and landing. We'll just turn everything on. Uh, turn the mixture to rich, turn the engine to start. And we have an engine... Oh, no, we don't have an engine running. So let's give that a few pumps on the primer and hold that on again. Oh, we haven't turned the fuel on. I'm being ridiculous, aren't I? There goes the fuel. You can tell I haven't done this for a while. OK, we now have an engine running, which is useful. Take the parking brakes off and start steering and hopefully miss the guy with his nice funky trolley over there for towing aeroplanes around. We see red paint splashed everywhere, we know what happened. No, we've avoided him. He'd have to duck for the wing though, won't he? So, let's get the flaps down to take off position. And let's go and taxi out onto the very snowy runway at Sarnen. Not that we can see much runway. We can see the edges of the runway if we look really closely. And there's the stripes. So let's put the wheel brakes on and slide to a halt. Where's the edge of the grass? There's the other side of the runway. So we're going to follow the grass line along the runway. It's snow blindness, isn't it? So let's press N. Oh no, uh, F isn't it in Flight Simulator. So let's get some speed up then this runway and hopefully take off and see what it looks like. And while we're in the air, we might change the... Oh, we can actually see through the snow a little bit here to the, the stripes, which is great. So we can almost see the runway. Here and there, there's little patches where we can see it. So, and we're up. So the idea here is just to have a little look around the scenery. So Flight Simulator does this stunningly well, doesn't it? This whole world outside the window kind of thing looks real. Mm. 
it almost embarrasses the other simulators because even with payware add-ons which I, I'll show in another video this airfield looks nothing like this and, you know, and the scenery around it <laughs> I wonder how they're seeing the road down there or if they're just driving across people's gardens so if we go to the outside view crazy isn't it how good it is so let's turn back and go and have a look at the airfield we just left from so if we attempted an approach would we even be able to see the runway a rainbow. Can you see it? Interesting. So there's the runway. Vaguely, you can vaguely make it out in the snow. I don't really fancy my chances of landing on it, but you never know. I think I've overshot the runway, haven't I? Or undershot it, whichever way you want to put it. You can't really see it. It's underneath all the snow. Grass. I think I am. Yeah, I just couldn't see the runway full stop. Here's the runway over here. <laughs> so let's change the weather and fly back around with a nicer day. Obviously it's going to be wet on the runway because it takes time for it to dry out. Let's just turn the aeroplane around. So what would this scenery look like if we change the weather to a scattered cloudy day? So there went the snow. And let's change the time of day to the early morning. So at half past, 20 past eight in the morning. Let's go and do the fly around again and see how different it looks. And notice how the engine that draws the scenery in Flight Sim 2020 converted the scenery immediately. There was no reloading. Try to get some speed up. it is. Getting the reflections on the the glass as well. So how well does it handle? So let's go and have a look in the weather again. The scattered clouds. We want some rain instead. So we've got a rainstorm. Okay yeah that's not fun. Shall we see if we can get back and land in the heavy rain? Abort, abort. Can we even find 
the runway. I presume that's the lights for the end of the runway. Which would have been covered in snow, I guess, which is why we couldn't see them before. Well, it's another aeroplane, isn't it? It's got to be the nav lights on another aeroplane. Because that's the runway. Yeah, it's another aeroplane. Well, they skidded off. Or maybe it's another actual real player. You do get lots of real people playing this. Not a very nice day, is it? And we're down. Let's turn the airplane around. Let's have a look at this from outside. Yeah, it's a, kind of a horrible day. But how good is that though? How good is Flight Simulator at doing that kind of atmospheric lighting? And look at the trees and the lighting of the hill, even in the rain. Anyway, so this is Sun and Airfield, and obviously you can you can in, you could imagine you could invent all sorts of flights around to the the nearby airports in the other valleys, kind of go you know fishing around the valleys and go down to Sion. It's fantastic fun, but yeah, look at the weather model there, isn't it fantastic? Anyway, this was Flight Sim 2020. This was Sun and Airfield in the little Cessna 152 in Flight Simulator 2020 in horrific weather. I'll record another video again soon.